their dad, my husband, died um, when they were only three and a half and five months. And I think it's a very nice way to be able to remember him. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a great event, as Irene said, to bring sort of both sides of the family together because now we have these mutual histories that we can understand. Um, I think when Irene and I first got together, maybe my siblings didn't know how to relate to someone who had lost a spouse so young. Um, and I think now that we've got sort of a more common history, and then the more you talk about it as families, you start realizing just how many losses you have that bring you together. I hate for people to think of these events as something that's very morose. And um, I mean, it's obviously a time for reflection, but I also think that there's a lot of laughter that you hear going on throughout the evening, and um, the music is very moving, and I mean, it's all for a good cause that helps people through their grieving period, but it's a time, it's a time that everybody can get together and kind of celebrate um, their loved one's life. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a fun event. Well, there's good food. Mm -hmm. and drinks and there's a nice walk around the zoo when it's when you're the only ones there the group yeah we have right lots it. of our family members come and join us from both Irene's sister-in-laws and my brothers and sisters and there's pictures of um, everybody's loved ones who's who passed away mm -hmm. we should send a new picture We've used the same picture the last couple of years because it's a picture of their dad with their grandpa. But I think we should we should send that picture of you and your dad cooking. I've always liked that one. I think it's a good event for everybody to go for a good cause, and I don't think you necessarily need to have lost anybody, you know, even recently. It's just a um, a nice event to just uh, remember people who have uh, left before you.